Hey, I'm Pastor Oz, and I'm so grateful to be with you at this noonish day check-in for Lent. Over the next 40 days, we are gearing toward preparing our hearts for the resurrection. And over these past few days, we've been highlighting the work of Trevor Hudson, Pauses for Lent, 40 Words for 40 Days. And today's word is C. And the verse is from John chapter 9, verse 25. Though I was blind, now I see. Hudson writes, we desire to see and to be seen. How often have we said to absent loved ones, it would be good to see you again. We also want others to seek our presence. Feeling unnoticed or ignored can be very painful. An elderly person expressed her pain to me. People walk past me as though I'm invisible. Christian faith involves a new way of seeing. When Jesus becomes a part of our lives, we can see people and things more clearly in our world. John Newton, the converted slave owner and hymn writer, described his inner transformation in these words, was blind, but now I see. God's grace opens blind eyes so that they might see with the eyes of Christ. So let's reflect on our spiritual eyesight. Or do our hurried lives make everything and everyone a passing blur? Is it time for our eyes to be touched by Christ? May our eyes become more and more like his. Eyes that can truly see others for who they are. The daily practice is this. Look out your window today at God's creation. Let your eyes focus on something of beauty. Look at the people you meet today and see in their faces the beauty of their God-given uniqueness. Give thanks throughout the day for the gift of new eyes that Christ gives us. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.